Have you heard about Newsbreak? Newsbreak is the most downloaded news app in the US. So that's a fact, but the best news here is for you as an advertiser, you can run native ads there. And in this video, we will take a look what is Newsbreak actually and how you can open an account there and start to run native ads. So don't waste time and let's hop on my screen. All right, so let's jump in. First of all, that's Newsbreak. Newsbreak is a news platform, obviously. And yeah, it's pretty famous. It's the number one downloaded um, news app in the US and you can reach up to 40 million monthly users. So the majority of people are using it mobile because it's an app. And yes, there is also a website as you can see here, but as mentioned already, the majority of people do use it um, with their mobile phone. As you can see here, that's how the app looks like. Depends where you're from, you know, if you're from the US, then you might know Newsbreak a bit better. If you're not a US citizen or if you don't live in the US, so then you might hear it the first time right now. But yeah, it's a, it's a thing in the US. And what I want to show you here is a bit more about the demographics. And I cannot see it right now, but I still remember it, don't worry. Um, so the thing is the demographics are usually women or the majority here are women, a bit older or a bit more major, I would like to say, around 40, 40 plus. This is the demographic data. And yeah, you can advertise Again, just people in the US, there are different ways of advertisement, as you can see here. Um, my personal recommendation is always the very basic in-feed native or related article. So this is what works the best for us, at least. If you have any other experiences, let me know. But everything else like newsletter, carousel ads or video doesn't really work out for us, even though we have tried. And yeah, to start, it's pretty simple. But before we start and before we dig in, I would like to give a quick overview because um, I like to prepare. So what you need for preparation is you need images. And again, what I recommend you here is always free images. And this looks extremely ugly and free headlines. Yeah, sorry, this document looks super ugly. And if you multiply these free headlines and free images, then you have nine ads overall. And of course, as always, and if you're already uh, familiar here with my channel, then you know I do recommend an advertorial. So please use an advertorial afterwards. So that's the funnel here. That's the funnel. You have the ad, afterwards the advertorial, and in idle case you, um, oops, you rotate them, you split test them, and then afterwards, you have um, the sales page can be for example e-commerce sales page can be a lead gen form depends about your goal here very important is i skip here in this video the parts of tracking my personal tracking recommendation is always a server to server tracking you can use this with a tool like volume for example or for example we use a custom made tool in the agency but you can also use a pixel tracking which is not that not that precisely, um, but this is the quick and dirty solution. You can, for example, do it with the Google Tech Manager easily. But here about pixel implementation, so you find a lot of free videos. Here on YouTube, again, my recommend, recommend bum, 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 my recommended way is always a server to server tracking here. And yeah, if you're here, just go to biz.newsbreak.com and click create an ad. Now you see here, now you see in fact the, the news page and now I can also show you who is the audience and as you can see here is the audience um, interested in staying well informed about their local community and beyond, slightly older, female, educated and of course that's key with a strong purchasing power. All right, but now don't lose time, let's get started. So here you need email, password and we enter the password. All right, I just filled out here this information and then click sign up. Okay, of course you need to accept it and read it. I read it before, of course, don't worry. And now classical two-factor authentication. Um, now you receive an email, so check your email inbox, check also a junk folder. And yeah, I will just do this and then let's see. All right, it took now a few minutes, but I have received now the email and I just copied now the link quick and dirty and perfect we the email at least is verified 
And now we can use it again. Again, it takes a short moment. And now we are signed in successfully. Fantastic. And you see this is, okay, not so fast, but now you just need to fill this out. I will do it by myself now. Um, but what you need here is a legal business. Of course, you cannot run it uh, or another few important things here. Um, you need a US business, by the way. So you cannot run it with, uh, if you have an entity somewhere else, you do need a US entity. For example, if you're, if you're an affiliate and you don't have an official entity, you're unable to run um, newsbreak ads. Yeah, you need to, you need a dance number and yeah, the rest is pretty obvious and pretty simple. The rest you can fill out by yourself easily. Cool, I've just filled this out. This took two or three minutes for me. And as soon as I filled everything out, I got redirected and you can see create your first ad in just three steps. You need a campaign, you need an ad set and you need the ad. So if you're familiar with, um, with for example, Meta ads, then this is exactly the same structure, campaign, ad set, ads. And again, my, my favorite structure is one campaign, one ad set, um, and in the ads, actually nine ads. This is done by three headlines and three images. And just click here, create my first ad. It's the first thing. But what I always recommend you please to do is to set up a few general things, set up the billing, set up a credit card here. See, there's a billing threshold. Right now it's $10. That means whenever you reach the threshold of $10, your credit card is gonna be charged. And yeah, here it's written how it works concretely. Um, but yeah, just please use a credit card here. And here is also the place where you can use or where you can see all the transactions. I will not do this for, for this video here, but it's very simple to just fill out the credit card information. Another very important thing is here under tools, the event management, and this is more or less the tracking information where you can create web events. For example, here, um, let's say view advertorial. And of course you should gonna, you, you should set up different conversion goals. And here's exactly what I've mentioned before. You do have the option of pixel tracking or post back tracking. My recommendation is always because it's way more accurate post back, however, quick and dirty, Pixel, very simple, ready to go within a few minutes. Um, I will select here the pixel tracking and you can just select the Google Tag Manager here. And here, for example, it's the view editorial. So it's a view content. Where's my view content? Usually when you look for something, you don't find it. And exactly, I know, here. So, and here's exactly how you implement the base code and the pixel code. And yeah, again, tracking is not our main goal of this video. Um, if you, by the way, if you're interested in a tracking video about Newsbreak and also how to set up server-to-server -server tracking and everything, just write it down in the comments below because again, guys, I do these videos here for you. So let me know in what you're actually interested in. But again, for this video, we're not going to do that, but please set it up. My recommendation is always um, view content in the, or for the editorial. Then for the sales page, also something like view product page usually. This is the sales page. Then you have start checkout, add to cart, or of course before add to cart, if you're an e-commerce, start checkout and then purchase. So this is the normal setup I can recommend you here. Um, yeah, set the pixel or do the pixel tracking setup or the tracking setup in general, please, before you're gonna start. And if this is set it up, if you set up the events, if you set up the billing method, then we can actually move to the part where it starts to make fun. And this is the ad management and whoop whoop, they have an algorithm update and of course it's gonna be better. But long story short, ad management, create campaign. And here it's the campaign name. My recommendation is always, and this is my experience over the <laughs> last decade, honestly, because this is automatically be a mess sooner or later. So my way of method is always the year, hyphen, month, hyphen, day, and then the country. I mean, in this case, it's news break. It's just US, so you can skip the country. It's just mobile or it's the majority is mobile. So you're just going to run on mobile. So I skip also the device here because usually it's like country, 
um, device and then the marketing angle. In this case, it's a test campaign and for example, just for Android or no, I will not even split it. I will just make a test campaign. And here very important is the main conversion objective are conversions, website conversions. Don't use anything else. Don't use some reach or website traffic. This will never work at the end of the day if you want to make actually money. Now we are already at the exit and you need here to use the event. And in the beginning, because it's a new, it's a new pixel setup here, it's a new tracking setup, which you are going to use here is um, try not to track your end event, try to track some smaller soft conversions. For example, start here with an add to cart, start checkout. And as soon as you see, hey, I receive conversions here, then move on to the next, move on to the next. Don't switch here directly to purchases, please. This will help the algorithm to make it a bit better. Here you can select the age. My recommendation is always just to select here 31 until 65 plus. Um, little trick here, there's also a huge Spanish audience, obviously in the US, especially in states like Florida, for example. And here you can also run exclusive Spanish ads. The good news is they are a bit cheaper. In this case, I don't care. I will let it like this. I don't select anything like audience, include, exclude, don't over engineer these things here. It doesn't, doesn't really work. What I like to do is I like to select between Android and iOS. And yeah, I usually also um, name the ad set like this. And this is also general, um, general information which you can use always to separate the device. Also for Taboola or Outbrain, if you run mobile ads, always separate devices directly straight from, straight from the beginning. Makes sense. Then schedule whenever you want. If you can set here an end time if you want, for example, if you want to just to run the ads for one week or if you know you will not have any internet because you made already so much money with native ads that you go to a vacation in Bali and you know you don't have any internet here. You need to set a daily budget and you can set a very, very low budget. You can start with $10. Yeah, it's actually possible. But of course, I would recommend around $100. Everything less doesn't really make sense. We are still in the US, so CPMs are high, competition is high, so if you want to make some conversions, um, get a higher get a higher daily budget. It's very simple. Look, if you if you ask me now, how much money do you need actually, or what should be the daily ad spend? It's if you want to sell a product for eighty dollars or so, you will not reach in the first day the best results. It's still native ads, so there are no fantastic first day results. So it's very uncommon that you will get a return ad spend of one in the beginning or even better. So usually you will get a uh, return ad spend of something between 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. And with this in mind, you can calculate your ad spend by yourself. So if you have a product $80, $80 for example, and you just calculate very roughly uh, ad spend at the beginning of 0 0.5, then you know, uh -huh, uh -huh, I need 160. So maybe you should not use 160, but something around 150 to get in an idle case, one conversion or after two days, one conversion, something like this, you know. Don't try to keep the, um, the ad spend too low. This is just killing your campaign. Here you can select a bit type, target CPA or max conversions. Of course, we will select max conversions. No frequency cap here. Save and next. Oops. Okay, we need to select the start time. Um, always seven, zero, zero, perfect. And yeah, you do have some specific timing options. What I can recommend you, it doesn't make sense to run at 2 p.m. in the night, uh, 2 a.m. in the morning, but usually it makes sense from seven to, from seven to something like 11 or so makes sense. Because again, if the, if the campaign spans on a Tuesday at 3 a.m., it doesn't really make so much sense. And this, by the way, I would also recommend you for all the other platforms like Taboola or Outbrain either. Yeah, here it's a warning now because we haven't selected any event and please don't do the same. If you receive the same error message, you did definitely something wrong. In this case, we will proceed anyway because it's on purpose. So this is just for um, viewing purposes. So don't actually care about this. 
And now the interesting part starts. Now we start with the ads. And here I don't have anything set up correctly. I don't have anything like any, any ads or so, but I can give you some recommendations how we work internally too. Ad format, single image or video. Select here image ad, here the brand name. Here you can um, upload a logo. Keep in mind the logo will be very small visible. So use something and it will be visible in something like this. So make it super clear. Don't use any complicated logo. Simple. Landing page URL and here the title. You can also add dynamic content like for example, woman in City Love Marcel. Okay, maybe not this one, but something like this. You get the idea. Love this product. So you can use something like this here. Um, to, to use dynamic content always makes sense. I would not use it every time, but I would definitely split test it. And here you have the description. So, oops, sorry, this is not what I wanted. Let's keep this one here. And then you see here also a bit how it will look. So there's a preview and you can see here also the description. And I can always recommend you to always use the description. I mean here, anyway, it's necessary. But there are also other platforms like Taboo Outbrain where the description is optional, but my recommendation is always use it. Then you have a text on the button. I can always recommend you, don't be too pushy here, by the way. Don't use something like install now or shop now. Use something like open or get started, but don't be too pushy here. And then upload a new, a few ads here. Then you have the first ad created and you can basically submit and upload other ads here in the ads tab. So here campaign, ad set, ads tab. Upload them that you have nine ads overall all together and please another very important thing here sorry I, will, I cannot go back now but another very important thing here is there was a field where you need to type in the website use your advertorial keep in mind always send the traffic to the advertorial so don't use your line page your product page use the advertorial page and yeah then you're ready to start another thing as, as soon as you did this my recommendation is duplicate um, this one here, duplicate uh, the ad set here. Duplicate it, copy also the ads here um, and make it an iOS campaign. Now it takes a while. Now you're just going to edit it and we will rename it to iOS. Don't even know if it's still iOS or called already Apple OS. We deselect Android, we just select iOS and proceed anyway. Again, this error is on purpose. And yeah, then we have one campaign here, two ad sets, 18 ads. Why 18 ads? Because two ad sets in each ad sets are nine ads and nine by two is 18. So yeah, that's how you set up Newsbreak ads. These are the very, very basic information here, how to use Newsbreak. This was my very general video about Newsbreak, where you can explore the platform and learn a bit more about the opportunity with Newsbreak. The good news is Newsbreak right now is a very blue ocean market because not many people have it on their radar. Not many advertisers have it on their radar. So it's a great opportunity. It doesn't matter if you're an affiliate or if you're a brand owner. Again, this video is just a surface. If you're interested in more such as things like optimization, tracking, whatever, please write it down in the comments below. I need your comments to know better what you're interested in and then we can produce videos about this topic. If you liked this video, I would extremely appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to receive an update when I upload a new video about nothing but native here on YouTube. Thank you very much, have a good one. See you next time.